Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man. So for the next week or so, I'm going to do an experiment, and I'm going to put my calls to action near the beginning. So, as always, I would appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe and ring the bell. I don't love having to do this, it's kind of trite, but the numbers show that it actually does help to do these kinds of calls to action, and YouTube keeps adding new dumb bullshit like the bell. Also, sharing the video just letting other people know that the channel exists helps a lot too since I don't do a lot of self-promotion. There we go. Helps more than you could possibly realize. Hidden markings. Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. Rhino's targeting Oscorp's shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp-owned property. Lee's going after the Devil's Breath Antiserum. Using something called Icarus? So every villain has a role to play. Good old Rhino, my second favorite Russian. Alexei, I've followed your career with great interest. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals, and freedom shall be yours. So Rhino is one of the ones we didn't get to last time along with Lee and Ock. Though they're kind of inherently more important given their roles in the story up Otto to this point. A corrosive to free Rhino from his suit. A certain government agency spent years trying and failing to do that. Only took Otto a few days. Besides, we're about to get around to them. Up next. Uh, this is where we started, right? Yeah. Icarus, this is it. First, before we open that crate, which will end the segment. Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Oh, Martin. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... Inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards true justice. He didn't have to manipulate Martin Lee because they had the same goals all along, and instead of commentary from Peter on this one... Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. We find a note... How long have they known each other? Oops, we find a note indicating that their relationship actually goes back a long, long way. And they have more of a mutual respect than Otto's you might think at first. Him. The neural interface is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. And because we inherently know so much more about Octavius, because of his role in the story, we don't get anything like the plate from Rhino's suit or anything like that. Hello, Spider-Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? Need a lift? So refreshing to work for a man like Octavius. Backup plans for his backup plans. Hey, are you okay? What's happening? Traffic's rough. Listen, Lee's gunning for the anti serum. We need to find Oscorp's Devil's Breath Lab before he does. On it right now. Pulling every building permit in the city. If you're 
There's a record of the lab. I'll find it. That's great. Okay. Uh, uh, talk soon, MJ. Trap failed? Softened him up. Time for plan B. Oh, all those web shots missed. Must have been too far that away. Was almost heartwarming, Electro. You really grew in prison, didn't you? Time to get up close that should be good. So, basic idea uh, is the same as Shocker, or really any of the bosses over. up to this point. Spam web shots when you're near him. Uh, it'll make him vulnerable for a second. And then you can web strike and do a combo. Then we hit this phase, where we have to destroy a transformer powering him, or being powered by him. No, Adrian! Please, Spider-Man! <laughs> what are you babbling about? Nobody ever gets my jokes. Our long feud ends tonight, insect! Fuse! Oh, we had a healthy give or take! Man, have I misread this relationship! Oh, I have to wait for the second part of this. Oh, that's right. Uh, now we have to grab those out of midair, send it back at him. And that'll open us up for the same web strike combo opportunity. Yeah! You got it! You got my joke! I'm so happy I can almost stop fighting! That interaction is so good. <laughs> Gotta be honest, liked it better when you two were loners. So this fight involves a lot of swinging, which is the main thing that I think makes it really fun. Because if all of this was just done on the ground like any other normal fight, they would just be normal goons. Just like oil and water, sure. But now we have both of this, uh, both of these gimmick gimmicks going on at once while we're swinging around, and it's actually pretty hectic and fun. And then also a couple QTs thrown in for good measure, and then the spectacle of all of it. It's it's a pretty interesting fight. So, speaking of the swinging, uh, it took Insomniac three years of painstaking iteration to get the swinging perfect, and it was priority number one for them. Above all else, they wanted a Spider-Man game with good swinging, and that all that work in that uh, desire shows through crystal clear. And a big part of getting it right for them was making sure that it uh, was swinging, like actual swinging and not just flying. So if you're swinging, there's a parabolic arc, there's always uh, something nearby that your webs are supposed to attach to, which makes the city a perfect place for this. Um, and then there's always momentum. So another issue that they had to solve was actually how momentum got transferred. Because for a while, oops, he wasn't stunned. Uh, if you swung into a wall, you would come to a dead stop. And it was really deflating. It kind of sucked. So they had to put a lot of effort into making sure that you would go straight into a wall run at full momentum off of a swing. And then from there, there was another problem. Uh, the complex geometry of the city caused some problems and we kind of touched on that in a previous episode and how the parkour system followed from that but all of these things originally went back to how do we make swinging feel good like the parkour exists as a, as a product of that even the movements of the camera come back to that uh some of the movements of the camera you won't overtly recognize as like Oh, the camera is pulling in close or zooming out to manipulate how I feel about the motion. But it is happening. If you really pay attention to the language of the camera, it's telling you things and making you feel very specific things on a subconscious level. And so many of these things come back to how do we make the swinging feel as good as possible? Like a lot of things are just byproducts of that. 
I remember that they once said that it was uh, the first thing they started working on in development and the last thing that they got right. Too far away again. Uh, I've been waiting for a Transformer to become active. But I think I'm misremembering uh, part of this fight. Yet. Yeah. Uh, first thing they, they started working on, last thing to get right. Again, it took them three years of just iterating on this. Yeah, that's what I was missing. Right, had to do this before uh, we get to the transformer bit. Oh, that's gonna hit. Yeah. I think we might have to do this one more time after this too. Oh, shit. Should have taken my time with that. <laughs> Since I took my time getting him into the uh, into that transformer phase in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, neat little QT here. One more. And one more after this. And... Go. Oh, really? Wow, that's the most... They've actually punished you for not being spot on on the timing in the whole game. Like, normally you get a lot of leeway on that to time it right. But I think here you have to be, like, exact. Like, that gets a lot of leeway. But here, let's be a little more on the mark. Oh, yeah, you actually have to do that one almost early. It looks like. Oh, God. Oh, no. Because we threw it into him, but Vulture interrupted. Still get to combo him. God, this is cool. Uh, it helps that the spectacle is pretty nifty. And they chose the appropriate time of day to do this because of the contrast of all the lighting effects. Uh, this would be a much worse fight in broad daylight. Plus, uh, you would get less contrast from Vulture's attacks, too. Like, even the little things like that, they thought about really carefully. And you just spend this whole fight, like, almost never touching the ground, just dodging in midair constantly, doing constant air combos. It, oh god, it's so fun. Good. Want him to get onto his final Transformer phase. There it is. Let's try not to take too many of those columns of lightning. Just straight to the dome. Should be good here. One down, one to go. How many times have we done this dance, Adrian? A dozen? Two dozen? Ah. One's too many. Tonight will be your last waltz. Ooh. Got a little bit messy there. So he's right below and behind. Oh, I thought that would have been it because the finisher there. I think we might need one more. One or two. Oh, perfect. Thought he may have been flying too fast. But those home in so well. What's happening? Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. They're just kind of talking past each other there. I 
came up. Just need to catch my breath. So the odd thing about Spider-Man is it's pretty light on bosses in the main story. You get the shocker fight in the beginning, the Lee fight at the end of Act 2, and now it becomes a rush through the entire Sinister Six. What time? Oh, man. And the one that's coming up is visually probably one of the most interesting segments in the entire game. Need to update Yuri. Yuri, Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. City's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. Ooh. Can't believe I got away from those bullets. And we kept our momentum because we didn't touch the ground for too long. Ah, yeah. Oh, I can't wait for this one coming up. I think y'all are in for a real I visual treat. There's the reservoir, but no sign of Scorpion. Better so take a closer look. Scorpion is up next. Now, if I was a mercenary dressed like a Scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! Ah! Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa! What the... Is that... a sea of poison? Can't be! This can't be real. Must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground and analyze whatever he injected me with. Wait, no, why can't I web zip? Poison bad. Kinda should have known that. Oh, well, at least we got that lie. <laughs> so. You might see where this is going, but if you don't, hang in there for a okay. sec. Should be safe for a minute. Need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. You know, I've been cutting these just for time. Scorpions made some upgrades. But we haven't actually done one of these in a good long while. Especially, especially the uh, spectrograph puzzles, uh, which I actually enjoy a lot more than the Bioshock pipe puzzles. So I think this should be it, and then we need to subtract the, whoops, nope, the first and third segments. Nothing too complicated here. Hallucinogenic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. So a hallucinogenic neurotoxin that manifests his worst fears. If you've played Arkham Asylum, you have a good idea of where this is going. Ooh, we just kind of slid There's along the, the poison, which Alba. doubles as acid. The inside the greenhouse. There it is. It's you, secret safe. Where'd it go? Is this real or in my mind? It can be both. Duck? It's just the hallucinations intensifying. You can get through this. Doc, you sound... 
like I did before the neural interface affected my mind. My obsessions were always there, but the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, uh, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I love I really the, will. I love the hands holding everything up. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. Makes one wonder where your priorities lie. I mean, if I was really that important to you. There's the Eclectalba. Oh, it's so cool. And now, back to city with Acid Floor. I need an antitoxin to mix a permanent antidote. Except One of Harry's research stations was developing a synthetic atropine. Except this time we have something else to deal with, right? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks, brain. How are you feeling, spider? We're all panic crawling up your spine. Scorpion? How'd you get this number? Always asking the least interesting questions. It's not how am I calling you, it's am I calling you. Maybe I'm just the favorite screams of your dying brain. Real or no, when I cure this poison, I'm coming for you, Max. <laughs> Please talk, little bug. Have fun chasing pink elephants. There's the research station. We need that atropine. I have to get into the station. This is so much better than just a normal boss fight against Scorpion would be. Atropine's right there. You're too late, just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, but it is me. The me polite society found in me. The parts of myself I suppress, but you helped me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. You are the poison! Everyone you touch suffers! Stop running from me! Let me try! I want nothing from you! You're a failure. That's my love, career. You bring nothing but pain! No, stop! I'm not giving up on you! Oh, no. That shouldn't have happened. Oops. Really tells you a lot about who Peter is, that he's not concerned with being a failure or any of this. He's concerned with failing Just others. Talk to me. I can help you. So you can treat me like all the rest. Containing me, suffocating me. No, I will let my genius shine on its own. Even when those others are actively causing pain, he believes people can be redeemed. Notes, stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. I am your friend, Otto. Please, I've always supported you. I always will. 
supported me by selling my ideas to Norman, by sabotaging my greatest works. Don't think I didn't see. There it is. The atropine. Before we pick that up, gotta get a good look around. Oh, it's so cool. And because this is a video game, we have our rule of threes. Which means third acid floor city segment with scorpion tails. I just need to mix up the antidote. Nearly cured. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, Wes, don't worry. Plenty of surprises left for you. We'll be seeing each other again real soon. Count on it. Except now things have escalated. There are. Oh! It didn't pay off dodging forward that time. It did before. Hell yeah. Made it. Somehow. But I'm running out of time. I need to mix the antidote. Finally. Whoops. Can we still finish this? Yeah, good. Hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. Oh, and the octopus tentacles and those grasping claws attached to the end of them create an even cooler silhouette in the background. Six lights, six hallucinogenic scorpions. Now I know you're the poison kind to distract me. Bring one down. And from here, it's pretty much a standard fight. You're a loser. All you'll ever be is a loser. Can't let him get to By the way, about that suit power, uh, this comes from the Scarlet Spider suit we're wearing. Uh, it gives you the hologram power. I checked the options, and I cannot easily switch back and forth between Japanese and English voice acting. Which is unfortunate because there's an easter egg with that suit power in Japanese where he refers to himself as the Emissary from Hell. Which is a reference to Japanese Spider-Man and I can't share it, that guts me! Oh, also I heard Japanese Spider-Man is gonna be into, uh, be in the Into the Spider-Verse sequel. And I'm so excited for that. We'll actually be talking a lot more about Into the Spider-Verse and sharing some trivia about that and just gushing about what, what a good movie that is next time. Because I have some plans for that episode. Whoop. And now we have to finish beating up all the hallucinogenic scorpions. Hope that's the last of them. I can barely stand up. There's the equipment I need. So if you stop and zoom in here in photo mode, he has three chest hairs like he joked in the beginning. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. That's the attention to detail in the Easter eggs. That they... Oh my god, it's, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, this head's still foggy. I need to work the last of this poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol. So we are not going to necessarily go on patrol. Instead, we're going to say thank you all for watching. To oh, hey, it's forget about it, pizza place. So good. Um, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.